In the last year or so, we've heard a lot about artificial intelligence or AI, and tonight we're seeing how its growth is changing lives, or at least has the potential to. Our Aaron Jones introducing us to one UT Southwestern doctor whose research could change how we detect Alzheimer's. This is a big deal. Tonight, Aaron Jones is asking a North Texas couple what they think about it. I was a stranger after uh, 50 years of marriage. For David Frost's wife, it started with memory loss. Then a significant event occurred driving back from a graduation ceremony. She looked at me uh, from her passenger side of the car and said, who are you really? She'd know, she, at that point, no longer remembered who I was. He took her to the emergency room. Because I thought she might be having a stroke uh, or a tran transient ischemic attack, some sort of uh, neurologic event. It turned out that wasn't the case. Eventually, Frost's wife was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. From start to finish, it took us about uh, two to three months. Dr. Ehab Hajar is a neurology professor at UT Southwestern who specializes in Alzheimer's disease. He's been researching artificial intelligence, or AI, to speed up this process, specifically using technology that captures subtle changes in a patient's voice. It could help diagnose the disease before symptoms begin to show. So what we did is we took the, uh, the group of people who are considered uh, impaired or having memory problems and the people who are healthy and ask the computer or the uh, program, can you tell us if there's a difference between the two groups? Hajar and other researchers showed the participants a picture and asked them to describe it. There were some clear dis discrepancies or differences between the two groups that if if you and I were to listen to them, we may not be able to, to recognize those differences, but because the computer takes all the information and process it at a, at a fast rate, it was able to detect those, uh, those differences. Hajar says if confirmed with larger, more in-depth studies, this technology could provide primary care providers with an easy-to-perform screening tool. Uh, I think if it, if it continues to grow and continues to show promise as it did in our study, yes, that will be a game changer. And if it really works and if it's effective, if it's proven after a sufficient period of time and enough patients, um, the good news is it's non-invasive. You know, that's that's a big plus. Not only for families, but healthcare providers as well. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.